Hey, I'm Brad, and this is my aquaponics system. The first part of my aquaponics system that I'd like to show you is the grow bed. I have a typical grow bed. It's about 25 gallons in volume, and I filled it with pea gravel. I built my grow beds out of scrap lumber. It was my intention to simply build a table and then use a couple of Rubbermaid containers to hold the gravel. When I started to fill the Rubbermaid containers, they were just so flimsy that I decided to frame the grow bed with some 2x8 lumber. I nailed the 2x8s together and also nailed them to the top of the grow bed table that I had built, and then I lined the whole thing with some 6 mil plastic that I had. When I added the plastic, any place that I knew there was going to be a penetration, like here for the overflow or for the bell siphon, I applied a liberal amount of clear silicone to the wood and then pressed the plastic into that. That way when I came back later and cut the holes in the plastic, the silicone would seal the remaining plastic to the wood and it would prevent leaks and wood rot. My grow bed fills with a 130 gallon per hour pond pump. As you can see, that's probably a little overkill for a bed this size, but the next smallest pump said that its volume was zero at two feet of rise, and I didn't want that. My grow bed drains through a bell siphon. This bell siphon is constructed with a piece of four inch Schedule 40 pipe that I drilled a whole bunch of three sixteenths inch holes in. The stand tube is three-quarter Schedule 40 pipe, and then this outside uh, part of the bell is constructed out of one-inch pipe. Because of the continuous flow of the pump, I had a little trouble getting the bell siphon to break, and so I've installed three tubes into the top of the siphon to introduce air into the tube and help the siphon break when the, the bed is drained. Here's a shot of the stand tube. My stand tube is set at about five inches of water. That gives me an, an inch of gravel above the water and then about a half inch to an inch rim above the gravel. Along the bottom, I drilled some three quarter inch holes and what I found out was that it's a lot easier to drill your holes first and then cut your tube to fit. Again, because of my pump input, the siphon wouldn't break, so I drilled some more holes above my original slots and then added the three air tubes. You can see the water now starting to flow down into the three quarter inch Schedule 40 stand tube. When I put the siphon back on, you can see the the water really drops rapidly. Here's a shot in the tank of the bell siphon drain. I come out of the grow bed, down and then I angled over to the side of the reservoir. It starts a little slowly at first, but then the siphon will catch and you get a pretty good water flow. As the water splashes on the side of the tank, it creates air bubbles and helps to aerate the water. As the siphon nears the end of its, its cycle, you'll hear it start to slurp on the top of the grow bed. It actually takes a little while for the siphon to break because of the volume of water that's still coming into the grow bed with the pump. And that's the sound of the siphon breaking. I wanted to provide some additional aeration for the system, so I bought an aquarium pump that said it was sufficient for a 60 gallon aquarium. It had two outlets, so I ran two air tubes down 
and installed an air stone at the end of each of them. The water in the fish tank is really, really clear. It's just a very bright, sunny day today, so it's really difficult to get a shot of the fish. Looks like they're kind of coming to the top. I'm holding a piece of cardboard above the, the camera to kind of shade them. Since the gravel bed is 25 gallons, typical aquaponics wisdom says that that'll filter 25 gallons of water in your fish tank. In Atlanta, the 55-gallon drums are very hard to find at a reasonable price. I found this 50-gallon tote at Home Depot for under $30. It's very rigid. The rectangular construction made it very easy to, to level in the ground. I've had no problems at all with it trying to roll over or with the sides bulging or any of the problems that you see with the 55-gallon drums. Some of you are probably wondering, I thought this was aquaponics. What's up with the dirt? As I've studied aquaponics, I've heard more and more stories about plants with nice green veins but sort of yellowish leaves, iron deficiencies, mineral deficiencies, and that type of thing. Instead of adding supplements to my grow bed, I decided I would just use what's naturally available, soil mix. I did plant three head lettuce plants directly in the gravel just to see how they would do with nothing but the fish water. These trays with the soil in them have got mesh bottoms. They're only about three inches deep and I planted salad mix in them. What this will do is the salad mix will have an opportunity to get minerals and nutrients from the soil and then the roots will be able to grow down through the bottom of the trays into the gravel where they'll have access to the nitrates and the water from the fish tank. In summary, my little home aquaponics system has a 25 gallon grow bed that works as a biofilter. The fish tank is a 50 gallon tank so I can build and add a second grow bed and still be within the capacity limits of the tank. I'm using a 130 gallon per hour pond pump and the pump runs continuously. I'm using a bell siphon to drain the tank and that creates what they refer to as an ebb and flow tank. Instead of depending solely on the nutrients produced by the fish, I am planting in a three inch layer of soil mix. The soil beds have got mesh bottoms that allow the roots to then grow down into the gravel and have access to the water from the fish tank. The fish tank is currently understocked. There's only 14 goldfish in the tank at this time. When the tank is full, I should be able to put 40 to 50 goldfish in the tank. I intend to take out 10 gallons of water each week and use that water to water my other garden projects. That'll give me a 20% water exchange each week. Also, additional aeration is provided by an aquarium air pump with two air stones. I'll make some more videos as the plants grow and let you know how the system functions.